What's up everybody, this is Danny, and Qualcomm asked me to fly out to San Francisco and check out their new Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform. Of course I said yes, because I wanted to ask everyone in here, your favorite YouTubers, what they think that this platform's gonna do for the future of smartwatches. But after the announcement, I think this is gonna be a game changer because it's gonna fix one huge thing about smartwatches, and that's battery life. So there's a new coprocessor that literally takes up a fraction of the power and it's gonna extend battery life for days and even set a mode to where it can last for about a week. So this is definitely gonna be a game changer. A lot of partners on board. Let's see if other people share the same sentiment I do about the 3100 platform. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? What's up guys, what's up? All right, bored at work. So the Colonel couldn't make it to San Francisco today. No, no, no. He's not about smartwatches. He likes the, the bling instead. But Are you, you know? sure? Did he get banned from San Francisco? <laughs> no, no, that is not true. That is, that is not that true. might have been true. So what do you think, man? What's the defining feature here on the Snapdragon 3100? I mean, there are a lot of features, though. I mean, I, I, like, the, I like the new ambient mode because the, you can almost tell no different from your regular watch face. But also... Um, battery life especially when you're actually doing some your workouts activities that stuff is great the fact that you can do 15 hours with GPS I mean is that the game changer I think it's a game changer I mean I like to work out you guys see me working out all the time I do my Muay Thai you know, you know you know what I'm saying what I'm saying Woo! like right here so so to me it makes a lot of sense it's you know that was Kevin by the way so out of all the watches what do you think is the best watch that they announced today like out of all the partners which one would you rock the Mont Blanc. You saw the Mont Blanc? Yeah. The Mont Blanc. I'm I, trying to go for that Louis. I'm I need a, that Louis. I mean, I'm, right? a, I'm not a Louis guy like that, but Mont Blanc to me is, Mont Blanc, yeah. is, is no. that, that's their style right there. I don't care what you're doing right now. What's up, dog? You got to tell me what's going on with this new Snapdragon 3100. I'm all about this 3100 life. I'm loving this like three level architecture to get you in that RTOS when you really got to save that battery life, but you've got that full Wear OS experience when you really need that rich interactivity, dog. I'm super into it. Yeah, you are super into it. Now yeah. show me that chip. Look at how small what's that thing up? is. So this is the. Come on. This is the coprocessor that runs at ultra low power. This is what's going to happen when you switch into that RTOS mode, that battery saver mode. When you need this thing to last for like a week, this is gonna do the heavy lifting for you. It's gonna keep your watch looking like a watch, but it strips away all the stuff that you don't need. So you gotta go in for a whole lot longer. And what's cool is that that thing can run by itself pretty much. Exactly. This is yeah. basically a standalone processor running its own super low power operating system. So basically you've got one watch with multiple personalities. It's actually pretty sick. Yeah, I really like that. So what are you looking forward to the most? All the partners that they announced today. What watch would you rock? That Mont Blanc, for sure. Mont like, Blanc is hot, right? Boss will do good. Boss will do all right. No Mont Louis for you? No, I'm not a Louis guy, man. No like Louis that Mont Blanc, guy. those classic lines, that really sort of rich, classic look, that knurled crown I'm super into. It's got a really tactile look to it that also looks super premium. Okay, so go pick up your check from Mont Blanc. All right, I'll see you later. I accept payment of watches <laughs> too, man. It's all good. All right, Miss Tech Me Out, what do you think? What do you think about the new Snapdragon 3100? All right, personally, I'm excited because I love the fact that now it's going to be a little bit harder to tell the difference between a smartwatch and a regular watch. And not only a little bit harder to tell the difference, but you don't have to choose which one you're going to wear because you'll be able to have that watch face visible at all times in terms of like your complications and the time that it is. All the things that we like to see on the watch when we wake it up will be up there constantly. So it's going to look like a regular watch, which has me <laughs> really looking forward to that. Yo! What's going on, man? Not too much, man. We just got out of the Snapdragon Wear 31. What's it called? <laughs> just hanging out. So what, what do you think, man? Like, what, what is the game changer here on this platform? Like, what is this going to do for the future of smartwatches? Yeah, you know, I've been watching you talking to the other creators here, and it's, it's everybody has the same answer, and it's hard to stray from that, and it's battery life. That's the number one thing. I wear a smartwatch every single day. That's my preferred uh, thing to have on my wrist and you know right now I get about one and a half to two days of battery life I'm um, seeing that you can go into ambient mode and go from 20% battery and still have that last you for two weeks That's unheard of. That's a game changer, That's a right, game there. changer right there. No, no brick on your wrist anymore Absolutely not like you can still use the watch as a watch Which is the main thing you're gonna use a watch for anyway And then just go take ambient mode off when you need to do something real quick and then go right back in and keep that battery life rocking That's crazy. Kevin. Yeah 
what do you think, man? Yeah, so the one thing that sticks out to me is battery life. That's my biggest complaint with all wearable platforms that you don't get that great battery life. Like when I travel out of town, I don't even bring a smartwatch because I don't want to bring an extra charger. Um, having that super standby mode where um, you get extra two weeks at 20%, and that's the thing that sticks out to me the most. Um, and using the GPS for 15 hours straight. And that is crazy because yeah. they, they called it sensor fusion, right? Yeah, where sensor, they fused, sensor fusion. They fuse the GPS in with, yeah. uh, you know, with the chipset. So now yeah. you get better efficiency, which is dope. That's yeah. really good. And I mean, and, and that's, that's huge to me because like sometimes I go somewhere, I don't want to have my phone. I just want to have my wearable with music and GPS and things like that. You can now do that. And that's dope. And also the new partners that are on board. And that's what makes Android Wear, in my opinion, well, Wear else different. Uh, than Apple because you actually have more partners and different styles of watches. You can get a small one, a big one, a square one, all these different styles. And so I'm looking forward to see what the partners actually bring to the table. Michael Fisher is back. That's me. He's back on the series because last time we got blocked by Moto and he didn't return on the last one. So Accurate. now he is here. I'm back. And I need to ask you now, what is that pretty little thing that you have in your hand? This is a replica of the co-processor inside the Snapdragon Wear 3100, which is gonna power all your new smartwatches. And I'm pretty jazzed about that. Okay, so what makes you excited about this platform? The fact that it's been updated after two years, <laughs> <laughs> and even when it was launched in the first place, it was kind of a redress of an existing processor. So this was built from the ground up, it sounds like, for wearables. One of the most interesting things is that, like, you remember in the smartphone world where we saw over the years Android, like Google's own version of Android, kind of steal features from manufacturers like Samsung uh, and incorporate them into itself so you didn't have to buy a Samsung phone if you wanted it or an HTC? Um, that's like, seems to be what Qualcomm has done here. Um, these super low power watch modes where you don't have a smartwatch but you have like a dumb watch but that dumb watch will last you for 30 days Which when you I switch love. it to this mode it's a great idea now that's going to be platform centric you don't have to buy a, um, a casio you know you don't have to buy a, a tick watch pro to get that so basically it's making this platform better in a sense oh yeah yeah for oh, sure absolutely and it's a little it's it's exciting like you said two years it's been pretty stale you know? It has, and I've been frankly surprised with it by how many manufacturers still make watches for Wear OS, and that has there's a lot of factors that go into that, like the software. I mean, the new version of Wear OS is going to solve a lot of problems. I hope that we've had with Wear OS version two. Um, the only thing I'm a little worried about is the battery life. You know, I kind of did expect a little bit more from this announcement, more than what did they say, four to twelve hours more yeah. um, battery life in certain usage modes, depending on how you use it. But uh, you know. I'm, a Pebble was my first smartwatch that lasted a long time. Forever. So yeah. we won't know until we actually get this. So True. what watch are you looking forward to the most out of the partners that they said today? Um, I've recently fallen in love with pretty much everything under the Fossil brand. I'm True. looking forward to a lot of that stuff. Scoggin, Fossil, Diesel, and um, what he, what, he had the Mont Blanc on stage, right? Yeah. And also, I, I have a running bet with these people. Who do you think this sports partner is? I figure Ooh, I stumped him. I figure it's got to be, it's got to be Polar or Garmin. You think it's Nike? I think it's Adidas. Uh, no. I don't know, man. You asked me a sports question, and suddenly I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He shut off. All right, thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Trisha Hirschberger. Hi. What's going on? Don't mind me. I'm just sitting here playing with my phone. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about the new Snapdragon Wear platform today? Um, I think it's an exciting announcement. I feel like a lot of people are on the fence about smartwatches, that it's still a very luxury enthusiast item. It's not necessarily a have to have. And some of the arguments that you hear from people are, you know, that if the battery life can't be long enough, like if it's not even gonna be able to tell me the time for more than a day, then what's the point of getting a smartwatch? Um, and I think that with the Snapdragon Wear 3100, unveiling and launch to come in products very soon that that could now be changed i mean that's a reality the idea of having this ultra low power co-processor that can take 95 percent of the time that you're wearing the watch but it's not necessarily in active use and then having that co-processor take that load off so that you can then extend the overall battery life i think that's a really nice deal that is a cool deal. So yeah. are you wearing a smartwatch right now? I am not. No smartwatch. No You're smartwatch on me. Smartwatch. Is this like a sin for someone that covers tech to not have a smartwatch? It definitely could be. So <laughs> what are you, what product are you looking forward to the most? Out of all the partners, what do you think that you would rock on your wrist? 
Oh man, um, I would love to say I'm hashtag so fancy enough to have a Louis Vuitton, uh, but I'm, I'm definitely not. Um, that being said, hey Louis Vuitton, if you want to send me one, mm -hmm. yep, I'd be I'm happy agreeing. to rep it, right? Josh Vergara. Hello, hello. What's, What's going, going on, on brother? What is going on, man? So, Snapdragon. Yes. 3100. Yes. What's going on with this? It is where we have to go. This is what needs to happen for smartwatches. I mean, smartwatches, they, they can be useful. If you're one of the people that actually uses the apps in a smartwatch, let Danny know, because we've been looking for you. <laughs> we've been looking for that. We've been looking for you. Uh, but if you're just using it as a notification center and whatnot, like if it's only something that you like look at because something happened, then the battery life should be so much better. And it looks like the 3100 is gonna make that happen. So if you're just using it as a way of reading your notifications without taking your phone out, this thing could last a, about a week. And that's exactly what we need. So is that what the game changer is, battery life? Battery life's always gonna be a game changer. That's why everyone's talking about the Note 9 right now. That's why everyone talks about the Key 1, the Key 2. Uh, Pocophone even, with that big ass battery in it. Sorry, can't cuss. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but battery is all the talk right now in smartphones. Why can't it be the talk in smartwatches? So might as well make it happen. If we're not gonna get bigger batteries in our smartwatches, then we gotta find out ways of optimizing it. Well said, sir. Well said. All right, hi, May. Yo. What's going on, man? It's all good, man. All right, so what do you think about today? All right, give me a good 30 second breakdown. Of what 30 you think second this. breakdown is I am excited. I love smart watches, but I also hate them because they're not at the level that I want. I want my screen to always be on. I want one watch that will do both fitness and luxury lifestyle and whatever. And I also want to not worry about battery life. The problem is right now, no watch does that. So I am really excited for the 3100. I am excited to get the first watch that's able to do that. Obviously, now all we're waiting all for is implementation. See if companies are able to level that out. And also, the fact that you can get the proprietary algorithms for fitness, for me, that's big. Because uh, I know a lot of companies that have their own science as to how they do fitness, and I'm looking forward to that. So you're really, you're really digging the fitness aspect. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm digging the concept. Let's see how they pull it off. All right, so that wraps it up for the Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform yes yes so let <laughs> us know what you think about this platform and if you think this is going to change the game for smart watches change it change the game <laughs> it totally will Just now so everyone see? needs a smart watch yeah definitely there you go then subscribe like this video see you in the next one bye bye, bye. <laughs>